Good morning from Buena Park, California. This is day one of our two-day Visit Buena Park weekend, and we have so much planned. Did you know there's a witch-themed bar here? Did you know you can see pirates dance and sing with special effects? And did you know you can get tasty Korean hot dogs? So fun, right? So let's go show you the most unique and awesome things to do in Buena Park, California. Welcome back to another Mouse Vibes video. We just checked into the newly remodeled Doubletree Hilton over here in Buena Park, California. I'm so excited. We're here for a staycation weekend. Ashley is checking us into the hotel right now. The best part about staying at a Doubletree hotel are these fresh baked cookies that you get after you check in. Cannot wait to eat these later. And we're being hosted this weekend by Visit Buena Park. We are so excited to show you guys how much cool stuff there is to do literally within three miles of this hotel. Let's go drop off our stuff inside the room right now and show you what a remodeled room looks like here at the Doubletree Hilton. Welcome to our standard room with two queen beds. This is a newly renovated room and you can definitely tell it is super clean and brand new in here. This hotel actually remodeled all 235 rooms. Yeah, I love the open format and actually the color scheme in here, it's very earth tones. Let's show you around the room. If you need coffee in the morning to get yourself going like I do, they do have a Keurig here. Boom, love it. Also right underneath the Keurig machine, they're gonna have a mini fridge, an ice bucket with extra glasses, and then they're also gonna have stuff to dress your coffee with. Yes, and there's also a QR code that you can scan on your smart device in case you need anything from the lobby. Anything that you guys need, just scan it. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the future. I am not amused. This room is so modern and unique. There's actually four different USB ports around the room, a flat screen TV, and an awesome workbench if you need to edit those videos on the fly. There's also this super comfy chair over here in case you want to read a book or check some TikToks, or it can even be your thinking chair. We also have a sliding glass door that leads to an outdoor patio that overlooks the pool. Let's go check it out. Double security feature, loving that. This patio is so big and it is so nice to have a room where you can walk out on a patio and get some fresh air. We did notice that only the first floor has patio access. So if that is something that's important to you, make sure you ask the front desk when you book your room. Check this out, they even have a little table and a chair so you can enjoy your coffee, but there's only one chair so I won't be sitting out here. Ashley will be doing all the sitting on the patio. I'll have to just hang out inside by myself. While I'm not a simple gal, I love the simplicity of this room and I love this very simple artwork. Comment below if you know which Knott's coaster this portrait's of. The last and probably most important thing we haven't gone over is the bathroom situation here at the Doubletree. Let's go check out the bathroom. First impression of this bathroom, it is clean, it is spotless, and my favorite thing is this huge vanity mirror, this awesome light. I love it, it's gonna be perfect for doing my makeup. Besides that, it's a pretty standard bathroom. You're gonna have a shower, bathtub situation. There's gonna be soaps on the wall, like shower gel, conditioner, and shampoo. Blow dry underneath there, and an extra thing of toilet paper, because you need that. Literally, what more can you ask for in a bathroom? Clean, simple, has all your toiletries, perfect. Now that we're done showing you guys the bathroom, there's one final thing, and the most important thing, we gotta put these Hilton beds to the test. Doubletree is known to have great beds, so I will be the judge of that, let's go. <gasps> Okay, I have instant regret because we have so much to do and I just wanna lay in this bed forever now. I'm gonna give this bed five vibes. This is so comfortable. I love soft beds and it feels like I'm laying on a cloud. Five vibes. One of the best things about staying at the Double Tree Buena Park is how close it is to all the unique activities here in Buena Park, California. We just walked over to the Source, which is a hub for shopping, Korean barbecue, Korean desserts, Korean corn dogs, and we're gonna go eat right now. I'm so excited to check out the Source. I've driven by this place a thousand times on my way to Knott's Berry Farm, but this is one of the most unique things to do in Buena Park. Let's go get our grub on. Okay, the fangirl in me is thriving. This is actually a photo card trading event for all your favorite K-pop stars. I used to do this back in the day with NSYNC and Backstreet Boys cards. This is so cool. It's kind of pandemonium back here, but the K-pop fandom is arguably the biggest fandom in the world. The second I saw these girls with binders and all of the cards, I'm like, oh my God, this is my cup of tea. I'm a professional at this. Like we said earlier, this is our very first time visiting the source, and I'm just amazed about how massive this place is. This thing is huge! I need a map to kind of let me know where to go. There's Korean style foods everywhere. I know exactly where to go, and that is Mung Rang Hot Dog right there. They're serving up unique Korean style hot dogs, and I have my eyes set on the sweet potato mozzarella dog that everybody recommended, so let's go try it. You know this place must be good, because look at that line, it's out the door!
Okay, the line looked more crazy than it actually was. The whole experience was about 25 minutes total. And I'm really excited to try this sweet potato and mozzarella corn dog. And we got some sugar on it. This is gonna run you $6.50 at Mung Rang Hot Dog. And also I asked for sauce. They had like a variety of different sauces. And you know, I'm the sauce queen. And the woman at the front suggested that I get the cheese mustard, so. Oh my God. The outside is crisp and super sweet. And then the inside is like this soft, very light and fluffy mozzarella. Wow, and then the sugar with the salt of the mozzarella, you guys. I've never really experienced anything like this before. It almost tastes like a dessert, I'm gonna say. This is very decadent, but also not too sweet. I'm gonna give this five vibes. I don't know if this is lunch or dessert or dinner. I couldn't tell you, but this is poppin', boo. This thing weighs so much, if I don't support it with two hands, it just slides down. <laughs> That's how much it weighs. Gotta be careful not to poke an eye out with a stick. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh my God. I know. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a lot of cheese in there. Easily five vibes. Easily the best corn dog I've ever had in my life. And it doesn't even really need the meat. Like the crispiness from the sweet potato with the mozzarella and the sauce. It's like, it's a whole meal without the meat. It's the secret batter that really kicks it off. Like you were saying earlier, it's really soft on the inside, but the outside has this nice crunch to it. Whatever's in that secret recipe, keep it going. That's awesome. There's so much to eat at the source and there's so much to do here, but that alone is my first food impression of this place. Bravo. I don't know what I was expecting from it. Exceeded my expectations. That was so good. And I also love how visually stunning the hot dog is as well. Right? This is like the best kept secret here in Buena Park. One of the most unique offerings. And we can share that and it was under seven bucks. I mean, that's a win-win. It's time for our second food spot. Welcome to Flip Polly. This is gonna be known for your breakfast sandwiches. All the sandwiches are egg-based. We got a ham and egg sandwich, which I love. I love a breakfast sandwich. We also got some really cool foamed coffee situation. I love foam coffee, so sounds great. Yes. Our sandwich is here and it's stunning, and I don't wanna disrespect this Flip Polly sandwich by just going in. Let's look at this this ham, the different textures of cheeses. I want to say that's like oregano or parsley, the fluffy egg, all of it together. Oh my gosh, you guys. And it's really, really hot as well. I don't know a better way to conquer this, so let's just go. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go on this side. Again, I don't know if this is lunch, breakfast, or dessert. I just know it's fabulous. This is fire i've never had anything like this before and the bread is like so so sweet that it almost tastes like a breakfast dessert i'm gonna give this five vibes and for presentation a bajillion vibes this is so cute for the gram and i know i sound corny saying that but hello we all have instagram this is an awesome sandwich I love this so much. I had no idea Korean people love cheese. They're my kind of people. There's cheese slapped on everything here and I love it. Look at this thing. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> what is that sauce? I'm not sure what that sauce is in there, but I want it on everything. I want to live in that sauce. One more bite. What do you think about that bread though? The bread is almost like French toast. It's like sweet and fluffy. This is a mammoth breakfast sandwich. I'd easily give this thing five vibes. These two restaurants, I've never heard of them before coming to the source. Come out here and try these unique restaurants. They're amazing. Both of them, five vibes. To wash it all down, I got a Dragona foam coffee. They also have a bunch of different coffees inside of Flipali. And for all of my dairy-free queens, they had oat milk as well, so yes. Holy mother of pearl. Like I have literally died and gone to foodie heaven. I don't know if I would even consider myself a foodie, but I guess I would since we try so many different foods. What the heck, how do we make this at home? This is so good. It's like so foamy and so creamy and it's so decadent, but it's not overpowering and I can like really, really taste the espresso, which like I am a strong coffee person and this is definitely strong. I'm never going to Starbucks again. Like, You're gonna come only to the source now to get put, your coffee? Put a fork in me, boo, because I'm down way too, just try this, please. It's like, I'm, I'll never get over that. The espresso tastes so good. It's got like a nice rich flavor. It's not too dark, not too powerful. This is great, I love this. I need that coffee back. Oh, oh God. 
Also, if you're an aspiring K-pop artist, they actually have a K-pop training facility where they teach you how to be a global superstar, which is super, super awesome. And I keep seeing people walk in there. I'm 100% gonna do that. I'm gonna ask my mom for Christmas money so I can do that. My free online tutorial to join a K-pop group just expired online, so maybe go to the K-pop center. I cannot wait to come back here. And our friend Shelton's actually never been here and he lives down the street. And we are gonna surprise you and wine and dine you, boo, because he's watching Elliot right now. Now that we got our grub on over at the Source OC, we actually walked over over to the Cauldron Spirits and Brews Bar. This is a very unique bar that's open year round and it's Halloween themed. The deck floor is filled with witches and Ouija boards and cool lights and skeletons and everything. I've seen this bar all over TikTok and I feel like it's one of the most unique things that you can do at Buena Park and in Orange County. I have been dying to come here, so let's go inside. Um, look at these awesome doors. Oh my God. <laughs> already loving about this unique bar is that they have so many drink and food options. I love a huge menu and I love how themed they are. I actually opted for the Devil's Margarita. Devil's Margarita. That sounds awesome. And she told me that it's a very beautiful drink, so I'm excited for it to come out. Whoa! Oh my god, thank you! I got the Devil's Margarita with tequila, lime juice, and a red wine float. And for certain drinks, you can request them to bring out the smoke bubble and the whole enchilada. The magic enchilada, if you will. Presentation, I feel like I'm drinking like blood because I'm a vampire. I got my Twilight shirt on. Oh yeah. Oh my god. This tastes like tequila sangria, which I would imagine with a red wine float on it. This is five vibes. This is great. This is a great free game to our pirate adventure dinner later. I really, really like this. I love this cup. I love the presentation. Five vibes. And I had to do the Naughty Kid Martini. This is gonna be a boysenberry cotton candy, smirnoff vodka, and lemon juice. Obviously, I had to go with a drink that is Knott's represented because we're across the street from Knott's Berry Farm. So I love that there's a little bit of boysenberry that is off the farm. It's over here at the cauldron, so come on over here. I never get a martini, but look at this thing. This thing is elegant. I forgot where they were. That tastes like sex in the city. That's <laughs> totally a Samantha drink right there. I don't want sex in the city. What's up, Miranda? Oh, I'm Samantha. <laughs> It looks great. I love the cotton candy and pouring the liquid in it melts. It's like a magic trick, but that's as far as it goes. Two vibes. Let's be real, guys. We all know that Nick is the booty beer IPA king of America. He wouldn't normally drink this kind of drink, so I'll be the judge of that. Oh, I'm Samantha. Fire, bro. You're tripping. Mm. I like fufu cocktails and Nick doesn't. I'm gonna give that five vibes. It kind of tastes like a lemon drop, I'm not gonna lie. I really like that. Both of these drinks so far have been magnificent. So something else that's really cool about this bar is this actually opens up. I don't know if I'm allowed to go back there, so we'll wait if somebody pops out. But there's all these cool little candles and some of these books actually move. If you guys aren't childless millennials like Nick and I and you want to bring your family here, if you have some witchy Halloween kids, this is a children's friendly bar as well. And they do have mocktails for the kitties and they have food as well. I love that it's a children friendly horror bar. Those things just really mesh together. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like horror. It's like a touch of witchiness, you know what I mean? It's not like Murderville. I mean, I don't know, if you go by that mirror, it will snatch your soul real quick. Dude, I like wish we had something like this right by our house. Like, I would come here all the time. This is like a hidden gem, so unique. I'm so happy that this was recommended to us. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I'm a little bit toe up right now on our unique visit to Buena Park, California. We just pre-gamed over here at the Cauldron Spirits and Brews. Cannot recommend this bar enough. It is amazing. Even if you're not a Halloween queen like me, the drinks were a million bajillion vibes. I literally had the best time. We've eaten and drinking all day, so we're gonna walk over to our pirate dinner adventure. Ahoy! Go to the pirate dinner adventure, which is another unique experience here in Wayne Park. We're checking into the dinner show, and I found Ashley. They made a lifelike doll of her. First things up, we're gonna get our photo taken. Yeah, there's a green screen photo op, so we're gonna put some pirates in there, and maybe it's my ex-husband, David Jones. Maybe we can add some scallywags or something to the back of the photo, right? Or some rum. No, what? <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin? Rumpelstiltskin's a good man. So are you guys. So before you go into your pirate dinner adventure, if you guys want some souvenirs or anything, they have merch and everything that you need before you go in and get your drinks and food and meet all the pirates like David Jones, okay? 
If you don't want to talk like Ashley, you don't have to, but this is essentially where you get the starter kit to being a pirate. You do have to talk like a pirate if you're here. Arr! Yar! Yar! Everyone must talk like a pirate. Oh! Because we are pirates here. Thank you. 100%. Is this you're... your first time? Yes. Very first time. I see. And what is this uh, this device right here? Um, are it... you pointing a cannon at me? Shoved people into this little cannon. Yeah, everybody's in there and we're holding them hostage. Yes. That is the nicest pirate I've ever met. It's not a cannon, it's actually a Sony. Ready for this pirate dinner Whoa. adventure. Did you buy that already? Where'd you get that? I took it out of my pants. What? You had that flag in your pants this whole time? Yeah. Magic. It's pirate magic. Because I'm Sparkle Jones, the magic pirate ex wife of David Jones. <laughs> Oh, it's the old pirate, eh? All right, here's a real pirate. We're just gonna do a who wore a better real quick. Old pirate, new pirate. Old pirate, new pirate. Old pirate because he has a missing tooth that's replaced with gold, and he has an eye patch, which I don't have. seats they have a huge menu in front of us letting you know what's for dinner a stein which i don't know at first i thought this would be awesome to have drinks in but when you put my beer next to it that's so much more mighty than that and look how close we are to the stage it is a prefix menu and they come by and ask you your preferences and if you're vegan or vegetarian they do have options for you and if you want to get a bit fancy and get lobster tail or salmon or if you want to get extra drinks or appetizers they do have there's vegan and vegetarian pirates, and then also bougie pirates? Yar, there is. All right, oh, hi, my name's Antonio. I'm the captain of the Yellow Crew. Yeah, yellow. You all have a job today, and that's to be the loudest crew in the harbor!
All right, and that's gonna wrap up our day here in Buena Park, California. We showed you all the most unique things to do here. We went to a cauldron bar, we went to the source to eat Korean hot dogs, and we wrapped up with a pirate dinner show. If you want more awesome adventures like this, just tune into the next video because we're gonna do Buena Park all over again. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us grow, and if not, thanks for stopping by.